All right, what's going on guys? Jacob from Yep Fishing here. Today we're going to look at some BFS reels on AliExpress and this one is definitely going to be for those that are wanting to delve into BFS for the first time. See a lot of posts on the Facebook groups about what reel should I buy and uh, generally these people get the same, you know, bunch of reels suggested to them. Um, so hopefully this video is uh, can be used as a reference and, and make things a little bit easier so that, um, yeah, everyone can come here and check out the, the reels that uh, I recommend. We'll start off with the cheapest ones first and then we'll move to the most expensive one. First cab off the rank is the Caesar Cast X. Uh, it's usually around this, this price point. Uh, I've had one for, I don't know, maybe something like nine months, a year, maybe something like that. Um, super solid reel. It's a 100 size reel, so it's a little bit bigger and has a little bit more drag than your typical uh, 50 size BFS reel. Um, but yeah, it's very solid. I haven't heard anybody really complain about it um, for what it is. Uh, it's definitely great value for money. Um, and if, if that's all that you can afford, then definitely go buy that one. Next, we'll move on to the BMC 100 by Solo King. This is a 100 size reel as well. Um, I wouldn't say it's any particular, it's not particularly any better than the Cast X, but um, it's, uh, yeah, it's black. The styling is a little bit nicer, in my opinion. Pairs up um, better with some other rods. I believe it's um, maybe a little bit lighter than the Cast X. So if this one fits your budget, and often this one goes down to about 32 Australian dollars. I've seen, I've, I actually, I'm pretty certain I paid 32 Australian dollars around about a month ago. So with all these prices on all these reels, they're all subject to change. AliExpress has different promotions all the time, um, monthly sales, that type of thing. So always keep an eye out. And I'll mention if I've seen reels for cheaper than what they're currently listed at so that you can check them out in the future if you wanna do that. We've got a few variants of this reel, the Caesar Commando, very similar to the BMC 100. Um, yeah, I'd say if, if you prefer silver, get this one. If you prefer more of a black look, get the other one. They're more or less gonna be the same price or if one's cheaper than the other, get that one. I wouldn't wouldn't say one is, is uh, very much better than the other, but there's one more variant, the Monsieur Le S or the Fox. It's just got a Fox picture on the side there. Don't know if any of these graphics show that. Yep, there it is. And again, I probably think that this is the nicest looking one of the of the three. Um, I personally don't have this one, but again, if this um, if this fits your budget and you like the look of it, go ahead and buy it. I've talked to people about it and they don't have anything bad to say about it. So yeah, go ahead and get that one. Um, this reel, the Handing Magic LBFS reel, haven't heard too much feedback about this, but I thought I would just put this in there because it's, um, it's a smaller, lighter reel that's sort of is on the cheap side. So this could definitely be another option. Um, yeah, as I said, I don't have any personal experience with this reel, but that might be an option that you could look at. Next is the Bear King Zeus. Now this is uh, a variant of the Dark Wolf Ultra. There's a bunch of these, so you'll, you'll see um, me go through a few of them. And this one, I've heard no complaints about this one either. I've used one myself, very smooth. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy to dial in the brakes and everything like that. Um, yeah, and it's the cheapest of the Dark Wolf Ultra variants, so it's got that thing going for it. So this reel is pretty highly rated in my mind. Next, we'll move on to the Solo King Acura. Now this reel, is probably maybe the best bang for buck reel. It does often go below this price. Um, it is very similar to the Bear King Zeus, although um, it does have these short spool shafts, which can be beneficial. They, you know, they won't warp or anything like that. And um, I, I do find this reel to be slightly harder to dial in. I think the brakes are maybe a touch on the weak side but uh, it's very good at casting light lures and another reel I definitely wouldn't uh, hesitate to recommend. Definitely one of my top picks. Next is the High Star Black Knight or uh, I think this is the same as the Black Knight 2, although it might not be. But um, if you like this kind of styling, 
I do have one of these. It's uh, right here. There's a black knight too. Although it doesn't say Kyurim on here. It says knight. Oh, this one says knight. But on that picture, it says Kyurim. So yeah, this is the black knight too. I believe this one is the black knight one. But if you like that kind of styling, um, this is another Dark Wolf Ultra variant like the Bear King Zeus and the Solar King Acura. I'd go for this one, but considering it's a little bit more expensive, I'd probably, you know, want to be in love with the look of it. Um, and you know what? That's the first BFS reel I ever bought because I was uh, in love with the look of it. So yeah, if you like the look of that one, go for that one. Next is the Kingdom Micro Monster. Now, this particular one comes in two gear ratios. The pink one is a slower gear ratio and the purple one is a higher gear ratio. Another Dark Wolf Ultra variant. Uh, I'm not too sure, I, I haven't really kept an eye on the price, um, whether this is cheap or not, but I think it does sort of hover around this price. Um, but yeah, just like the Zeus uh, and yeah, just like the Zeus, I've heard good things about it, easy to dial in. Um, yeah, wouldn't hesitate to buy this one either. If it fits your budget, go for this one. Another one, the Dark Wolf Ultra, the original. Now, yeah, again, this is a little bit more expensive, so I'd sort of sway towards um, getting either the, um, the Micro Monster or the Bear King Zeus over this one purely because of the price. Um, but if you like the stylings of this one because it's like a dark gunmetal gray, it does it does look pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, and this is the original reel that those other variants were based off. So yeah, definitely, definitely a good reel. Wouldn't hesitate to buy it. If you like it, go for it. Next one is a newer reel on the market. It's been around maybe two months, I would say. Uh, some people have had some slightly bad experiences with it, but other people love them. Uh, I'd say in general, uh, the the vibe has been positive on it. At the start, I was sort of getting some more swaying towards negative vibes about the reel. And then as time goes on, it seems like there's more sort of positivity about the reel. So um, I'm starting to think that it's a pretty good reel. And you know, if I was in the market for a reel, I would definitely try this one out. Um, the advantages of this one or its calling card is that it's it's very light. It's 115 grams. So um, there was a little bit of a battle uh, a few, uh, maybe about five months ago where a reel came out that was 119 grams and then there was one that was like 117 and then there was, I think maybe another 117 and then this one at 115, there was like a, a weight war going on. Um, about five six months ago and uh and yeah this is this is one of them uh we'll talk about the other one that came in at 119 grams next and that is the pure silver feather now if you guys have seen any of my videos you know I, this is the reel that i use pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis and um i think this is a pretty good price even yeah on sale and or whatever i haven't seen it much cheaper than this when it came out, it was around about 210 uh, Australian dollars. And uh, they had an 11.11 sale back in November. I got it for maybe 172. But since then it's been coming down. It's been in the 150s for a while. And then I think this price is quite good. So uh, if this fits your budget, 110% recommend that you get this reel. It's 119 grams, super lightweight. Uh, it's actually, a little more silver than the looks here. It looks quite dark, but it's silver. That's it right there. So obviously it's silver, not uh, gun metal. But uh, I personally think this is the best reel because it's just so user friendly. I can dial the brakes in, you know, between say one and three, and it covers me for all my lures from, you know, two grams as lightest I throw and I throw as heavy as maybe seven grams and um, I can just rip cast with two hands. Uh, don't get backlashes. It's just super user, user friendly um, and it casts long. I just I just love it. I would love if they released this in, in a black. Um, yeah, I'd buy multiples of them and, and just use these to be honest. But um, there is one reel that I haven't used, but I have on good authority 
that this reel slightly outperforms the silver feather, but there's just one caveat, and that is the the uh, flight feather cormorant, the kingfisher cormorant, the cormorant, the black reel. Now, we might you might have seen the blue and orange kingfisher. Well, this is uh, this is its cousin, the the cormorant, the black version, and um, there's the kingfisher there. And yeah, I have it on good authority that this reel will cast slightly lighter than the silver feather if you're wanting to cast, you know, a gram and even under a gram. I mean, that's crazy. I, I've never tempted less than, I've tried a trout magnet. I think that weighs about a gram, but under a gram, that's crazy. Maybe I'll try it one day. But um, yeah, for those that um, throw super light lures, this is the reel to go for if it is in your budget. And um, yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something. If you've got any questions, just drop a question down in the comment. If you thought I excluded any, any reels that you recommend, drop it in the comments. And um, yeah, hope to see you guys next time. I'm gonna do a rod version of this one very soon. Catch ya, bye.